go the smart travelers who left their misbehaving pets at home. We'd be sleeping in our own bed tonight if we hadn't been banned from air travel because of those two. Ah, oh, come on, Ginger. Look at the bright side. For those people, their vacation is over. For us, it's just the beginning. We get to travel across country on the open road, see the sights, and you finally get to visit your great auntie Claire. I suppose you're right. And here we are. Oh, Rick! It's gorgeous! This one was on special. Does it come with its own tow truck? Everybody buckled in! Almost got it dead! guy with the frying pan. But he was right there. It's, it's the doggy of doom. We're leaving. Let's go. It's him again. Why is he following me? What does he want? Look, he's following me. I think he might be the Toggy of Doom. He was there. I'm telling you! <laughs> hey guys, can we get a picture of you two? You know, from the memories? <laughs> Say cheese! Ah! He is the doggy of doom! That cat over there, he did it. Oh, my God. 
City of Doom! According to the travel guide, best public restrooms west of the Mississippi. Hey, puss, what do you say we score us some snacks for the road from that vending machine over there? useless as one of those hairballs you're always coughing up. <clears throat> hey, let me try. Just you and me, kid. I promise I'll only eat you as a last resort. <clears throat> Are you boys lost? No answer at the number on your tags. But don't you worry. I'll take good care of you until we get a hold of them. I have plenty of room and lots of snacks. There's somebody I want you to meet. <laughs> Don't be shy. I rescued Hannibal, too. Poor little guy was the runt of the litter. Spent years in and out of the pen, bullied by big dogs like you. Now he just needs to find some friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is the life. Ah! Mice! Where? Bill! Where are Tom and Spike? We're not that far from your auntie's house. Somebody's bound to find Tom and Spike, and when they do, we can go pick them up. But how are we going to get to my aunt's house now? Don't worry, Ginger. I got an idea. Don't you worry, honey. I'm sure whoever found Thomas and Spike is taking very good care of them.
get on the train? Oh, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're with us now, and we can all visit Auntie Claire. Cat and mouse detective on the chase, there was nowhere to go but down. Wise guy. Some days, even a tough guy needs a little tender love and care. when he saw her. Her name was Misty. Tom wasn't about to let a broken leg, two cracked ribs, and a strained glutinous whatchamacallit get between him and this lovely feline. This was a case for the cat and mouse detectives. 
There was no time to be smart. I won't say a word. A cat and a mouse? Nope. Never saw him. See? Not a word. I don't know anything. Okay, okay, okay. My name's Scarf, and I live next door. Um, well, Misty and I, yeah, we kind of have a thing going. You know, we talk for hours on end through the walls. Then today, someone came in and took her. But I don't know who, and I don't know where, and I don't know why. But I really want to help find her. Come on, you need me. I'm a hound, and hounds have very good noses that will make finding her that much easier. And just tell me, which way did she go? If anyone knew which way she went, it was Crooked Eddie, a stool pigeon. So you want to find Misty, huh? What's it worth to you? Sunflower. Delightful. All right, here's what I know. I seen two humans. Couldn't make out their faces. They had something in a sack. Then they shoved the sack into an animal carrier, placed the carrier in the back seat, and drove off. That must have been Misty. Which way did they go? I don't care much for the fruit and nut mix. Corn. Yeah, that's nice. They went that away to the country. Oh, I've heard about the country. They have farms there where animals go, but don't come back. Tom knew there was no time to waste. If only he had remembered he was still on the roof. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm definitely getting the scent. She's right over that hill. want to hear something funny? Um, the scent wasn't coming from over the hill after all. <laughs> I had it all wrong. <laughs> okay, it should be right around this corner. Wow. What do you know? 
I got us here. Scarf was right. He had gotten them there. But where exactly was there? Hey, maybe it's an animal prison, and they're being forced to make those ugly dog sweaters. Faster. You know, she's a cat. I'm a dog. Eh, it probably wouldn't have worked anyway. So what's the plan? We sneak in and grab her? Misty, I'm here to rescue you. Who are you? Scarf. The dog next door. The one who barks a lot? The detective saw you get catnapped and I heard the whole thing. But I wasn't catnapped. My owners put me in that sack. It's the only way they can get me here because I hate cars so much. They're on vacation, and so are we. So the cat and mouse detectives found their missing cat, but Tom couldn't help feeling disappointed by the outcome. Hey, well, maybe we could see each other when I get back. it wasn't a total loss. us to catch a chill now, would you? Thomas! We need a bigger fire. 
More wood, Thomas! Shut, Shut the, the door! door. Now stay put and keep that fire stoked. Decide your punishment later. I told you we should have picked the black cat. It's not too late to change our minds. Don't be silly. We can't just replace Thomas after all this time. Can we? Well, we can't expect Thomas to be something he's not. And he's most certainly not a black cat. I suppose you're right. We'll tell him tomorrow. Let him have one last restful night in the cottage. You always were a softy. It's been nice knowing you, my friend. All good things must come to an end, I suppose. It saddens me to see you so hopeless. Now, I must weep. <laughs> the mouse, he has found the potion that will transform you into a black cat. Why do you two just stand there? There are many ingredients you must gather. That's it. Now mix it all up with the umbrella. No, 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 no. You must open the umbrella first. Bad luck, remember? Go on. Drink it. Salute. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> yes, of course. You must drink the potion while walking under a ladder. <laughs> it worked! Perhaps I speak too soon. I'm off 
often wondered if there's truth to the old wife's tale that it's bad luck for a black cat to cross your path. I will wonder no more. Come look! A black cat! Just like we wanted! Oh, let's call him Inky! Pepper! Licorice! Smoky! Smoky it is! You must be hungry! Yes, you relax here and we'll prepare you a snack! <laughs> Are you cold? Poor cat. We'll have Thomas start a fire for you. Thomas! There you are. We have a house guest. I need you to add more wood to the fire. Hurry now. <laughs> what are you doing? You are our guest. Go on, sit down. I asked Thomas to do that. Thomas! <laughs> what are you doing? That chair is for our guest. Out! Now tend to the fire. <laughs> Smokey? Oh, there you are. Stay right there. We want you to meet Thomas. Thomas! <laughs> Where is that darn cat? Thomas! There you are. We want you to meet Smokey. Smokey! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Don't be shy. Show Thomas your handsome face. Thomas, now where'd you go? You two can get better acquainted at dinner. <laughs> dinner is served. Come and get it. Don't be rude, Thomas. We must wait for our guest. <gasps> Smokey, Dindin's ready. But where did Thomas go? Well, at least Smokey is here now. We don't want your food to get cold. Go ahead and eat, dear. <laughs> What's the matter? Was your food too hot? Here. Drink some milk. <coughs> we mustn't forget dessert. Yes, Mother's famous froggy pudding. <coughs> there you are, Thomas. I think it's best we just tell you straight out. Go ahead, Beatty. Thomas, Smokey will be staying with us from now on. And you will not. Safe travels. Enjoy your pudding. Ta-ta. Whoa! <laughs> 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 
long enough. <laughs> we knew you were listening to us early. This ship is amazing, Rick. Three swimming pools, water slides, jacuzzis, theaters, anything you can imagine. All I can imagine is these two ruining it like everywhere else we've been. Those was your fault, Cat, not mine. I have faith they'll be good little boys this time. Hey, take it easy, boy. We're all excited. Oh, and Rick, you'll love this. They have a 24-hour unlimited buffet. Unlimited buffet? Oh, <laughs> I like the sound of that. Maybe I'll bring a doggy bag for my boy. Unlimited buffet? What are we waiting for? Mouses just made the worst mistake in their soon to be over lives. So, Rick, I'm thinking we spend a little time at the pool, then hit the buffet, and maybe see the big show. Oh, okay by me. Let me grab my fanny pack. I right, listen up, guys. We're leaving, and just so there's no funny business, I'm keeping you both in your carriers. Now, don't give me those looks. Who's ready to buffet? I'm starving! You heard the guy. No one's going nowhere. He didn't say nothing to me, dog. Did he say anything to you? So it's settled. We're eating. Fine, leave. But if you two get in trouble, you run your own, got it? The only trouble we're gonna have is where to put all that food. <laughs> Let that be a warning. Ain't happening. Big mistake, cat. You're nothing but trouble. So go out, have a little fun. But I'm not saving your tuckers when things go bad. Got it? There are two mice. One brown, one gray. Traveling with the dog and the cat. Sweet cutlets, what's this world coming to? Here, micey, micey. I know you're here! Aw, look at this. The house pets are spending some quiet time together. You probably have matching sweaters when the weather turns cold, huh? <laughs> Come on! Give Mommy your happy faces! Who are you? 
in charge of disposing rodents. Now hand them over before someone gets hurt. You mean like you? Yeah, kind of hard to get hurt when I'm out here and you're in there. Your little mouse hunt is over. I didn't hurt. Bad dad. Cats are nothing but trouble. What you mean? Goodbye?
pal. All this cat and dog stuff just doesn't matter in the end, does it? Trying to eat my little bunnies. This is for not saving us. And this is for making fun of our Christmas sweaters. Now let's get back before Rick and Ginger find out we're missing. Believe that horrid cat ruined the entire show. I wonder if he had anything to do with the problems in the machine room. I hope everything's all right in the room. Who knows how long it'll take him to fix the engine? Well, at least we still have the buffet. How are our boys doing? We're Spike. And why is the balcony door open? 